Well, ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. This is Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we jump into it, just a quick reminder, you, yes, talking to you, you're an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and see if we can't finish unraveling this case, shall we? So just a heads up, I did go ahead and drive wow. here because the car just, the radio would not shut up with copyrighted songs, so. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? Not even going to ask to see a badge? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, <laughs> can you get the detective a drink, please? 43 pieces of property? Yeah, we don't have that many. All right. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Well, you're lying. You're making it pretty you obvious. The value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. The guy that recovered the Fabergé cigarette case. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There. Are you satisfied? Of course you did. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Why would... Okay. What can you tell Weird. Us about the that terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. No, let's talk about the incident. No, well, she's holding eye contact. She might actually be telling the truth. I think she is. You in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about Stoneman. it, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, Don. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. <laughs> oh, we're bringing her with us? Oh, okay. Um, this... This should be entertaining. Alright, I need to be a little bit more careful with my driving. 
Because we have a civilian in the car for some oddball reason that I don't fully understand. We're missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all of this. Again. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. I might not always agree with my partner, but at this point in time, it's got a point. Plus, like I said before, who proposes with a pearl instead of a diamond? Uh, at least in American culture, that's a very odd thing to do. I don't know, maybe there's other cultures out there that do actually use pearls for engagement rings. In which case, hey, rock on. Good for them. I'm not trying to say anything bad about their that particular kind of culture. It's just a very odd thing to run across, especially somewhere like Hollywood. Even in the 40s. Especially if this guy's supposed to be such a big hotshot. Yeah. Trying to get this lady where we need to go without anybody getting hurt. Like, you know, the civilian in the back of the car. I don't know, maybe I should have the sirens on. Man, how far uptown does this guy live? Well, actually, I'm assuming I'm going uptown. We might be going downtown. So it's way the heck up here. And where are we? That doesn't help. I do wish that it made your car a different color or something. So I have no idea where we are in relation. But I would assume we're somewhere along in here. There's the police station. Hmm. All right, I actually don't know where we are. But whatever. We'll find it. really far away. One of the two. which boulevard we're on, but we're on a boulevard. Oh, here we go. So, second right. Got it. Right turn here. 
we may or may not be able to get through. And then the next intersection, we need to make a right turn. For a little bit of excitement. A nice little handbrake turn there. Try not to run over top of anybody that's walking out in the crosswalk and just standing there like an idiot. Because, you know, that's how people are. Dude. Dude really walked out halfway through across the street, put out a cigarette while standing in traffic, and then turned around. Interesting choice, but all right. Okay, why are you holding Come on? Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna like the answer very much. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're in it together. Don't think you are, though. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Well, isn't this just nice and awkward? I mean, elevator rides usually are. Stop! LAPD! Don't kill him, Cole. This guy's our case. Go on, get Put your hands in the air. Oh, let me tackle him off the board. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Back up on the board. Dude! I cannot push harder on the right button. No, no, no. For the love of God. You know what, Phelps? You deserve to die after that. So... This is very clearly designed for an analog stick, which I don't have. Alright, let's do this again. No, go down the stairs, you dumbass. Freaking bored. Come on, Phelps, you could probably jump that distance. Well, maybe not. Straighten Don't yourself back up, you. dude. Come on. Come on. Lean back to the left, you dipshit. Oh. Phelps, how do you keep getting hit like this? Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How do I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. That was our net. He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? Oh, hello. You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? Asheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. A graduation present for my parents. 
or one of the items on the uh, stolen contraband list, if I remember correctly. Nope, not ready to talk to him yet. What's this? Seems irrelevant. Just randomly got a flashlight out? I don't think so. Odd, but not related to the case. Could be help, but doesn't give me anything to go on. Hmm. So some junk on the floor. Got another clock, which doesn't have anything. Can't search his desk. Not sure this means much. Hmm. I think all of the evidence is probably right there in front of him. But what about this newspaper? Is this one of the newspapers that you can? No. Okay, fair enough. All right. I'm stumped. Ideas? No, I'm not stumped. Okay, story. Let's see Henry talk his way out of this with Heather in the room. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. Well, that's a lie. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, Detective? I mean, other than that massive swallow that you just did? How about ye old Fabergé egg? Or not egg. Eh. Fabergé cigarette case. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties, find out where and when, and then have the guests burgled. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Oh, really? What about Why the murder? Why did Rita LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather, if she had me. Julia told the others that, that they were out, that she was going to create a, a new gang. Uh-huh. But your first instinct was to run to Mexico? I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? Well, your train ticket says otherwise, there, Hoss. Have you told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night? That it's a one-way ticket? Henry? Tell me that isn't true. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. I had to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. <laughs> Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. 
Wow, there really? No Henderson. Dude. You have no poker face, my guy. Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. No. Luckily, we do. It's funny you should mention that. Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. Do you want to explain how he is involved, or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julian. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties, and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. It drove the good doctor almost insane. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. You, you did kind of admit that, you know, like, give a full-on confession that you paid to have her murder. So. Just saying. Now to find Mr. Dr. Stoneman. You know what, partner? Why don't you drive for Can once? Can you drive to this one? I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, boy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? Should have never told you that. GTI is a member of the American... Yeah, you probably shouldn't have, but whatever. No, that's right. Fifth floor. Wonder if he's here though. I mean, it's kind of after hours, isn't it? Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. Mm -hmm. for me to beat the snot out of him. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. Surprise. You came. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She. She was a regular Bonnie never really from. Cared for me. Looking for her, Clyde. practice you'll call dr gerard no 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 please don't cry i want to see no one not my wife or my children nor my friends and i don't want a lawyer just lock me up and throw away the key what have i done 
Oh, shit. Didn't see that coming. No. Okay. Um. Um. I guess call it in. Operator, give me R and I. What the hell? Bring you through now. I need an ambulance on the coroner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. En route, detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. Yeah. Hopefully a little cleaner than that. Holy shit. Dude legit just jumped out the window. That old boy really fell for that broad. She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. Quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Wow. They don't find you handsome. The leaf finds you handsome. Thank Jeez. God I didn't park there. <laughs> I mean, that actually does kind of make sense considering, you know, you drive a convertible. Would have been really awkward. All right, let's go have a rematch with Willie here. You and, drive. uh, yeah, you're going to drive, bud. Just in case the radio decides to put on one of those fun songs. Mm, the Broadway Hollywood. He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. I don't want him to bolt on us. Wait. Pull. Yeah, I hear it. You hear that? from the alleyway. Yep, there he is. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. This time I've got a little backup coming along with me. Can I just shoot him? And he's still going up, which doesn't strike me as the smartest decision, but...
No, wait, he went up again? Oh my gosh. Not so much for having my partner. Oh wait, no, he's coming up. Where are you at, boy? Hold it. He's gotta be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. Or unless he climbed up on the sign and is planning on jumping down off the top roof. Tanked a headshot. There we go. Son of a bitch really picked this spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia hmm. had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. <laughs> Something tells me we're not getting that drink. Okay, well, I racked up about a thousand dollars worth of vehicular damage. But only twenty dollars in city damage. So, yeah, it's terrible. It's that's actually really horrible. Uh, Julia Randall lived fast and died young, sending one man to jail and three to the morgue. Very true. Well, we have hit our time limit for this episode. I do believe managed to finally wrap this case up. Still shocked the doctor decided to take the plunge like that. That was... I did not see that one coming. But love will make you do some pretty insane things, I guess. So... It is... That's just how it goes sometimes. At least that case is finally wrapped up. We can move forward and... Who knows? Maybe we'll get that drink after all. Kind of doubt it, but you never know. There's a small amount of hope for it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to find out what our next case is going to be, well, subscribe. That way you know when I upload new videos. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I will catch you in the next one.